fly in the room. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll have a little bit different video and I'm a little bit nervous, can you tell? Today I'm getting a haircut. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. It's been actually at least half a year or maybe over a year. Not even sure when was the last time I was in a hair salon. Today is the day and I'm nervous. <laughs> I actually have something a little bit crazy in mind, so we'll see how things will go. I will take you along and since I am going to the completely new neighborhood for me, I've never been there before, I want to explore it and take you along on this little date with myself. Not only I'll be having a haircut, but also I want to explore and see if this neighborhood will have any kind of, you know, cool houseplant stores, maybe thrift stores, maybe bookstores. So it's gonna be a fun, cozy, probably vlog because the autumn vibes are actually already coming in here in Lithuania since we had a heat wave, a lot of leaves on the tree starts to get yellow and brown and fall down and it's extremely, extremely autumnal vibes right now. <laughs> so I already can feel upcoming sweeter season, upcoming blanket season, hot coffee, you know, pies and stuff like that. And for that I want a book because, you know, it's the best season for it in my opinion. So I need autumnal book. I also... I actually, I actually miss plant shopping, so this should be fun. This should be a lot of fun, so join me, grab snacks and drinks probably, because we're going on a date. Oh, oh, yeah, let's do this. Oh. A few moments later. I'm completely lost. I have no idea where I'm going. It's like... It doesn't look like I'm going to the hair salon. My GPS is doing nonsense right now. And I'm freaking out. A few moments later... Oh my gosh, okay, I found it, but I'm sweating buckets. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Okay, what do I think? I think I look fabulous. I actually cut a pretty decent lens and right now in here also made a little cut. Oh my gosh, I feel so good. Okay, it's time to do something. <laughs> so the plan was to go look for houseplant stores, thrift stores and what else? Bookstores. I have no idea where I am. It's actually filled with buildings of just you no know, simple peasants like me. So no shops around. So let's just go and see what we'll find. <laughs> Cheeky kids and Japanese dog All right, so I don't really like this neighborhood. So I just found a houseplant store. So I will check this houseplant store and then finally find my way to the grocery store to buy probably a bottle of wine and some, I don't know, some snacks and go home back to my boys because it doesn't feel really calming to walk here, to be honest. Lots of people are drinking beer, which is illegal to do on the streets. So let's go see that plant store. Pink faces and snow white beds Flying cab dots light as it goes Still peeing all the way on my carpet oh. Honestly, nothing interesting here. So probably I will find a way out before leaving. I'll find I'll try to ask for Any kind of meds against trips because this fight is never-ending in my home and Yeah, nothing too cool To be honest, which is sad. I mean there are some pretty cool looking pots 
but they're very expensive in the store and not worth it not worth it at all probably need to start filming myself from the upside not downside because i look like a hobbit but yeah nothing interesting let's leave a few moments later All right, so right now I am in the interesting neighborhood and decided to try out some dishes from their kitchen. So I have a cappuccino and very interesting pastry, so let's try it out. I'm actually not sure what kind of cuisine this is because they have falafel, pita, hummus, so I think this is something very Eastern. And actually, this is so good. This little bun is actually so delicious. It's with three cheeses. No idea what kind of cheeses there are, but they're good. <laughs> so, little break, and you know what? I just called my fiance and said, I'm just not feeling inspired to film anything. And he said, just go for it. So I'm going for it. <laughs> All right, coffee is finished. I am filled with delicious, delicious thing. I am not even sure how it's called. Fatire. Fatire. Is there anybody on my channel who tasted fatire before? But it's, because it's actually pretty good. Highly recommend. <laughs> but right now it's time to go from here because people are staring. And I almost forgot how awkward it might get when you're filming in public. But you know what? Today we are pushing our limits. And I'm actually kind of enjoying it. Ooh, that was a burp. Cheers with the last sip of coffee and I'll see you somewhere else. It's so fun in the old city to see buildings like this in front of buildings like this. How cool, right? Oh my gosh, you guys, you have no idea how hot it is today. It feels impossible to just go in this tree that has not a single shade. I'm trying to rethink all of the plants because it's hot. A few moments later. Right, everyone, can you tell how exhausted and flipping sweaty I am? I finally found shade, but after this tree, there won't be any shades in a really long run. And I'm so tired already, I really want a drink of water or something. So you know what? I am changing the flipping plants because during this kind of temperature right now, it's over 30 degrees in Celsius. So it's over a hundred Fahrenheit. It just, it's insane. And I'm flipping wearing pants, flipping pants in this kind of weather. I, I have no words. So right now I will be going into the uh, supermarket with conditioning and stuff like that. And I'll just buy knickknacks, small, small, tiny knickknacks and snacks for my fiance because while being on a call with him, I noticed that he's a little bit upset and sad. So I want to make his day a little bit brighter and I will look for something. And also at the same time, look for some plants probably because it's a supermarket. I mean, huge shopping mall. So there should be some kind of plants and books and books. So let's see. Let's see where the destiny will take us. All right, so right now I am in the underground and the plan is to go to the shopping mall and to buy Agnes couple t-shirts because he was complaining that he don't have any t-shirts. McDonald's fries because McDonald's fries makes everybody happy and something else. Let's see if I'll find everything. <laughs> right now I'm actually excited. I love making surprises, so this should be fun. Let's start with t-shirts. JK, let's start with toilet. <laughs> cool. Really cool. Do you also check onto the plants whenever you go? Wherever you go? <laughs> D. 
the next day. Right guys, please excuse the look on my face. I just woke up, but I think me and Baloo just found a plant. Question mark? What do you think, baby? Let's wait until the lady will throw the trash. Just imagine I'm filming you because you're beautiful. Good. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, she's leaving. You see that ficus tree close to the garbage containers? Hello. Oh my gosh, it's been a while since I found any kind of plant. Look at it. Oh, relax. Okay, so this place, it looks yucky. To be honest, I'm not sure should I take it or not. Okay, I'm gonna take it. Okay, nope, I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it because it's filled with trips and... <laughs> gosh, oh gosh, I really do not need more trips in my home. It is so sad. Because this plant is really in kind of good condition, I would say. <sighs> but not trips. No more, please. I'm still fighting on my own plants trips. But I actually took a couple pictures and I'll make a post in Facebook group of, you know, things that people are letting for free, giving for free. So hopefully somebody will pick it up. All right, everyone. So you probably already noticed that it's another day. It's Sunday. And today we have a serious business to go through. Yesterday, actually, everything went fine and perfect. Agnes loved the surprises I prepared. And actually, I just stopped filming after, you know, shopping because it was so insanely hot. I was feeling a little bit weak. And once again, after even being in the grocery store, I forgot to buy water for myself. So I came back home almost dead. <laughs> but I'm fine. Everything is fine. Evening went well. And today we have some serious business to go through. Today, actually, in about half an hour, we're going to the vet to take stitches out of Yakari's surgery wound. And I'm nervous because these stitches are not looking great. The whole wound itself is swollen and I just cannot wait to see what the doctor will say after seeing this wound in person, you know, because we were uh, chatting through emails with pictures and stuff like that. So really curious what he will say in person and also probably will need to book another surgery for Yakari's other leg. So really worried what today will bring us and I'm pretty sure that I'll finish this video off with spraying my huge Monster Deliciosa from Trips because I have a new kind of medication I never used before. So this should be fun. So I'm excited, curious, but right now let's go to the vet first and then we'll chat more about plants, right? Let's go. It's time to go. Okay, good, good. okay, okay. A few moments later. She hi. Alright, so we just came back home from the vet and Information isn't the greatest. Actually, Vet said that he... It's not that common to see such swollen wound and right now I'm even more nervous, obviously. He gave us... Well, stop crying. He gave us a gel and uh, some shots to Yakari and after two days we need to go ahead and check with him again because he's not sure what's going on. You know, but right now let's get into the plenty business. I just filmed a little bit of the monstera leaf and you can see how many trips there are so right now i'll ask my fiance to take this plant to the bathroom and right now i'll go ahead sorry for the running sounds and i'll go ahead and see into the medication and we'll spray this bad boy up because i really love this monstera and these these bugs are just killing me i actually found trips as well on my philodendron melanocrysum which is so annoying because I put so much love into my plants and these bugs just want to take it away from me you know
So I went through all of my collection again and I still found trips on my Antorium Clarinervium and also my Variegated Syngonium. So I sprayed all of these plants up and hopefully this medication will be so much stronger than the one that I used before, which was neem oil. This one is with some kind of silicones, which I feel like might be a better alternative. Still not sure about it. We'll let you know in a couple of weeks if I will see any of those trips back or not. But right now I actually feel pretty good about it. So another sad update is that do you remember me chatting how excited i am to show you and unbox the plant that i was about to buy from a private collector with yellow variegation so that actually was variegated syngonium aurea and i was so excited but this collector for some reason after a couple days of me dming her and you know chatting about it she said that she won't sell it to me anymore and her reason was because it's not growing like it's a cutting that is not growing roots yet and i said it's not a big problem she still refused to sell it so not not sure what's going on in there to be honest but of course that made me upset because i really wanted this plant and it would be such a cool unboxing video in my opinion as well so yeah anyway this is where probably i will leave you i need to go ahead and edit this video and my arm is about to break <laughs> from me holding this phone i have no idea why but once again, we have another heat wave, and I'm just, I'm not feeling good. <laughs> but anyway, everything will be fine. Let's keep fingers crossed that tough time is behind us, and you know, something bright is awaiting, and yeah, that's probably where I will leave you. So thank you so much for watching, and before leaving you, let me teach you how to say, okay, bandage. Since I was at the vet office and you saw that beautiful bandage on my puppy, let me teach you how to say bandage in Lithuanian and in Russian. So if you want to say bandage in Lithuanian, you need to say bintas. Once again, bintas. And if you want to say bandage in Russian, you need to say bint. Once again, bint. Yeah, that's about it. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye.